Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. What two words is he saying at the end of this sentence? And so I will probably not see you guys until next year. And so I will probably not see you guys until next year. If you're watching this with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. He says next year. And so I will probably not see you guys until next year. When spoken together in connected speech, the words next and year can sound like next year, which is how he pronounced it, and which are two completely different words with different meanings and can be confusing for English language learners. Why do these sounds change like that? It's due to a feature of connected speech called coalescence, when two separate sounds merge to form a new, different sound. Sometimes a final t sound in a word and an initial y sound in the following word combine to make a ch sound at the boundary. So instead of next year, you hear next year like that young man said. Please note, this can also happen inside just one word, like when the T and the U combine to make a CH sound in the word situation. However, since our focus is with connected speech, we're only going to look at where this happens when the end of one word meets the beginning of another word. If you don't understand the symbols I'm using to represent sounds in this video, please see the link in the box below to the interactive phonemic chart. Here are a few more examples. Number one, lost youth. Lost youth. Number two, she must use it. She must use it. Number three, they promised you. They promised you. You might have noticed that in number two, the second word starts with the letter U, not the letter Y. That's because we're looking at the sound Y, not just the letter Y. And the letter U can make the sound Y. Similarly, in number three, the first word ends with the letter D. That's also because we're just looking at the sound T, not at the letter T. And an ED ending on words can sometimes have a T sound. Briefly on that, when the sound before ED is unvoiced, meaning your voice is not used to make the sound, just air along with your lips, teeth, tongue, or throat. Then ed is pronounced t, 
like with k in talked, f in coughed, p in hoped, and s in promised. To give you practice in hearing this feature of connected speech, I'm going to say 10 phrases and I'd like you to write them down. If you need to, pause the video and number a paper or document 1 through 10. So again, listen and write or type what you hear. Each line will tell you the number of words in that phrase or sentence. I will say each one three times, fast, then more slowly, and then fast again. Here we go. Number one, last year. Last year. Last year. Number two, best university. Best university. Best university. Number three, least useful. Least useful. Least useful. Number four, most young people. Most young people. Number five, my first year. My first year. My first year. Number six. I'll text you. I'll text you. I'll text you. Number seven. I got you something. I got you something. I got you something. Number eight. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Number nine, we missed your call. We missed your call. We missed your call. Number 10, we want you to stay. We want you to stay. We want you to stay. Now pause the video and compare your answers. If you need to, go back and play parts of the dictation. Here are the answers. Pronouncing a feature of connected speech can help you hear it when others say it. So please listen and repeat. Try to make the ch sound between words. Here we go. Number one, last year. Last year. 
Number two, best university. Best university. Number three, least useful. Least useful. Number four, most young people. Most young people. Number five, my first year. My first year. Number six, I'll text you. I'll text you. Number seven, I got you something. I got you something. Number eight, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Number nine, we missed your call. Number 10, we want you to stay. We want you to stay. To review, sometimes a final t sound in a word and an initial y sound in the following word fuse to make a ch sound due to a feature of connected speech called coalescence. A final example is she walked you home. She walked you home. Now it's your turn. Think of another example of a ch sound at the boundary of two words, the first with a final t and the second with an initial y, and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of ch coalescence with a final t sound followed by an initial y sound in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.